Hello, Sycamore Junior High. Happy Monday, February 28th, 2022, and welcome to this episode of the Daily Video Announcements. I'm Hadley. Goodbye, Palindrome Week. As today still fits the pattern, 22822. Hello, I'm Khadija. Let's all unite and honor America by standing and placing our hand over our heart as we say the Pledge of Allegiance together. You may now be seated. Did you know on this day in 1939 that erroneous word doored was discovered in the Webster's New International Dictionary, second edition? This error promoted an investigation. A dictionary editor from the Merriam-Webster Dictionary noticed that under the word door defined as a synonym for density. You see, the word door doesn't exist, but it did appear in the Merriam-Webster Dictionary between 1934 and 1947. And the story of how it got there is an interesting one. A new slip was prepared for the printer, but on this the phrase D or D was misprint, misinterpreted as a single word, Dord. By 1947, all trace of Dord had vanished. Much of the sadness of the editor, Philip Gov, who, when explaining the error to American speech, was loath to let it go, explaining it's probably too bad. He wrote, for why shouldn't Dord mean density? Well, that's <laughs> Today is National Floral Design Day. A day to appreciate the beauty of flowers. And stop to think about maybe your favorite flower. Maybe ask a friend theirs. Whoa. <laughs> now for the fact of the day. France is the most visited country in the world. It is a beautiful place. Today's daily survey. First, this survey from Friday asked if you were going out of state for spring break. And it looks like the majority of those who filled out the survey are going out of state for spring break. And don't forget to check today's classroom the survey posted. Next up, birthdays. Happy birthday to students Jonathan S. And also happy birthday to Jalen C., Tyler M., and Phoebe P., who all celebrated during the weekend. We wish you a great and wonderful day to celebrate. Now over to the wonderful, magnificent Mr. Harris. Good afternoon, Sycamore Junior well, Hi, and welcome to your video announcements. Hope everyone's having a great Monday out there. It's hard to get in the habit of coming back to school on Mondays, but here we are. All right, this is just a reminder, there will be no FTC Robotics Club after school this week. So make sure if you're involved in that activity, you take the bus home after school today and on Wednesday. All right, and today is the beginning of our Operation Give Back personal care product drive, all right? So that is starting. Remember, eighth graders, you'll be dropping off hygiene products that you're donating in the two eighth grade bins. And if the eighth graders bring in the most items, Ms. Bernoski and Mr. Shoma will perform a TikTok dance. Seventh graders place yours in the seventh grade bin. And if the seventh grade wins, Mr. Lavercombe and I will have to do a TikTok dance. So bring that kind of stuff in. As you can see on the screen, these are the kind of things that we are need that are needed and we're collecting. Paper towels, toilet paper, Clorox wipes, uh, body wash, baby formula, diapers, baby wipes, all those types of things. So as you're going out, add a couple of those to the list so you can donate those to Operation Give Back. Remember, that contest starts today and runs through Friday, March 11th, all right? All right, and today, our Black History Highlight. Today, we're going to honor and talk about uh, Quincy Jones. Uh, so many words can be used to describe the influence of Quincy Jones, but let's start with in innovator. Others that work are producer, writer, arranger, composer, and humanitarian. The Chicago native has been making an impact on music and popular culture for six decades. He scored and soundtracked the majority of our lives, contributing and producing some of the best-selling albums of all time. Jones is responsible for a number of firsts and also paved the way for other African Americans in the entertainment industry. Along with his music partner, he was the first composer nominated for an Academy Award in 1968. First black composer, excuse me. In 1971, he was the first black musical director and conductor for the Academy Awards. And in 1995, Jones was the first black person to be honored with the Gene Herschelt Humanitarian Award from the Academy of Motion Pictures, Arts, and Sciences. Musically, Jones is a wonder. He has earned 79 Grammy nominations, collected 27 Grammys, and was honored with a Grammy Legend Award in 1991. He produced all three of Michael Jackson's iconic albums, Off the Wall, Bad, and Thriller, the last of which sold more than 32 million copies in the United States alone. 
A song he produced in 1985 sealed his reputation as humanitarian. He gathered 37 of the biggest names in music at that time together in one studio to record the Michael Jackson and Lionel Ricky, Richie pen track, We Are the World, to support famine relief in Africa. The album sold more than 20 million copies, and the song is one of the highest selling singles of all time. Jones' influence extends across many media. He founded the Maga Maga Vibe magazine in 1993, an entertainment publication that gave urban Gen Xers a periodical that reflected themselves. And Jones, who turns 84 in March, isn't done. A monthly vinyl subscription announced Jones as an upcoming curator for its record of the month, and a new headphone collaboration looks to give Dr. Dre a run for his money. Quincy, you are one bad man. And that is our last Black History Month announcement. It's um, been a great pleasure to do these things, and remember, our history is black history. I'm done. That's it for me. You guys have a great day. Bring in those uh, products, and I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, what's for lunch today? For lunch, we'll have popcorn chicken. We'll also have hamburgers and cheeseburgers. Now for the joke of the day. What animal makes the best pet? Which one? Cats, because they're perfect. <laughs> Go, Go Aves! Aves.